Is this true of the animal world? Will a bushbuck mother be able to save her child in the face of a cold-blooded predator? The African rock python, which reach lengths of up to 16 feet? Wherever you are, let's swag wild animal life decode the wild world through the video. Python strangles young bushbuck while mother tries to free it. The bushbuck is a widespread species of antelope in the sub-Saharan Africa. These animals have a light brown coat with up to seven white stripes and white splotches on the sides. The white patches are normally geometrically shaped and on the most mobile parts of their body, such as the ears, chin, tails, legs and neck. The muzzle is also white and horns are found only on males. The bushbuck are not only territorial, but they are solitary animals as well. The mature males usually go out of their way to stay away from one another. They live within a home area, which is usually around 50,000 square meters on the savanna and much larger in the forest where they normally do not leave. These areas usually overlap with other bushbuck home areas. These antelopes are usually most active during the early morning and part of the night, but tend to be nocturnal. They spend their day feeding, standing and moving around. When threatened, the bushbuck will lie flat on the ground or may run away, producing a series of hoarse barks. When feeling the danger in the open area, they may stand still or will slowly walk to the nearest cover. Born with the fate of being the prey of others, the bushbucks must always survive in fear. They are hunted by a variety of predators, including lions, wild dogs and crocodiles. Therefore, they often try to run away when encountering predators. Danger can come at any time. The young are weak and are always ideal prey for hungry predators. Facing the safety of the children, what will the bushbuck mother do? Join us to follow this bushbuck's struggle for her children. The African rock python is one of the six largest snake species in the world. They are mainly terrestrial but are also very good climbers and can often be seen hanging on tree branches. They are extremely good swimmers and can stay submerged for long periods of time. They are known to be very aggressive when threatened and can be extremely defensive. They usually produce a hiss as a warning sign and can give a painful bite or constrict with great ferocity. The African rock python is a formidable foe. That can hold its own against most animals it interacts with. African rock pythons are considered predatory and very aggressive. 
after they catch their prey, they will wrap their body around and squeeze the prey until it suffocates. They will then devour the prey on the spot. Therefore, young antelopes that are not too big in size will be the ideal prey for rock pythons. This is partly because adult antelopes with their sharp horns could injure rock pythons if swallowed. A young bushbuck is being squeezed by a rock python. The python tightly wraps its body around the poor young bushbuck. Besides, the mother bushbuck constantly tries to free her child and repeatedly bit the python's body. But almost every action has no effect. The bushbuck mother did not leave. She even tries to scream loudly to seek help from the humans. But in the end, the bushbuck still wasn't saved. The mother helplessly watched her weak child slowly stop breathing. Its opponent is too strong and dangerous. It is impossible to free her baby. Death was inevitable for the poor baby bushbuck. Rock pythons will not easily let go of this lucrative prey. The bushbuck mother tried very hard, but confronting the predator was extremely difficult. Even the mother bushbuck could become the prey of the rock python. Whether an animal or a human, mothers love their children in their own way. Mothers will always strive for their children, but nature is cruel. It is the law of nature and we cannot interfere. Even though it hurts, we have to learn to accept. Victory is only for the strong and the weak will be eliminated. The African wild world is extremely harsh and sometimes unintentional with those small creatures. Leave your thoughts below in the comment section. Wildlife has always pushed all animals to learn how to survive in the most powerful way. The cruelty of nature does not allow them to stagnate on their mother or herd. At any time, they can become the prey for others. For a young rock python trying to hunt, success depends on the right size prey and the right approach. They will choose the small sized prey to promote their hunting instincts. At this time, teeth are the deciding factor. The young rock python's teeth are designed to hook into prey and prevent it from escaping. Pinning the prey was very difficult and it failed. Meanwhile, not far away, one of its brothers was trying its luck. He tastes the air for the mouse's location. It was successful. It's a big step for this young rock python. According to animal experts, pythons are excellent ambush predators. They will take down any prey that appears in front of them when they are hungry. The sighting is said to be rare as pythons normally only hunt small prey such as hares, sheep, squirrels, birds and rats.
the python is rated as one of the top 10 of the deadliest snakes. And one of the largest snake species on the planet. You can see the snake's head slowly slinking across the impala's body as the snake seems to magically stretch barely wide enough to swallow the creature whole. Amazingly, taking down such a large animal is not out of the ordinary for these large predators. These snakes can reach an impressive 20 feet long. They may prey upon creatures even longer. Pythons are ambush predators, and they will take down whatever happens to walk in front of them when they are hungry. When pythons strike, their mouth opens a full 180 degrees, allowing it to punch its prey with a mouthful of teeth. Once the teeth have sunk into the skin, the pythons rapidly coil their body around the animal. After the strike comes one of the most brutal aspects of a rock python's hunting tactics. The strike doesn't actually kill its target. Instead, the python wraps its muscular body around its victim, clinching in a vice-like grip tighter and tighter every time the animal takes a breath until it passes out. Once it's time to eat, the python swallows the catch whole, no matter how big it is. This always seems to involve swallowing the animal head first. Before it starts the painfully slow process of swallowing its prey whole, the python has to wrap its whole mouth around the catch. Contrary to popular law, the python does not actually unhinge its jaws. Both ingesting and digesting large prey pose unique challenges to the rock python. Stomachs in pythons have a pH of 1. The strong acidity not only kills the prey by dissolving it, but also protects the python. After eating a large meal, the python is in a digestive race against putrefaction. It has to completely digest its meal before it starts rotting. If the prey starts rotting before digestion is complete, toxic gases can build up in the digestive tract, likely killing the python. For large prey, the python takes time to digest. Swallowing a large prey like an impala will make its body heavy. Along with that is slow movement speed and low defense. And that is the opportunity for other predators to make an attack. If unlucky to be detected, a python's chances of survival are almost nil. Ever wonder what might happen if a python ate a porcupine? It isn't unusual for pythons to eat porcupines. In fact, many species of snakes eat porcupines and other horned or quilled animals, according to a study published in 2003 in the Philomedusa Journal of Herpetology. And while a 30 pound meal might sound like too much to digest, it isn't if you're a python. Pythons have been spotted consuming even larger prey. They possess an incredible ability to alter their metabolism, as well as the size of their organs after a meal. It still isn't clear if this python's spiky meal is actually responsible for its death. Rangers found the snake underneath a rocky ledge, where it apparently had fallen. On impact, the quills inside the engorged belly may have pierced the python's digestive tract, which could have killed the animal. But there's no word on yet on whether this particular snake died because it was pierced by quills, or because it fell off a ledge, and was pierced by quills, as a result of falling off the ledge. Famous as a predator that kills his prey with a deadly embrace. 
Python attacks a king cobra, one of the most venomous snakes on the planet. Can it stand up and look a full grown person in the eye? Who do you think will win this battle? Wherever you are, let's swag wild animal life decode the wild world through the video. The tragic ending when the stupid python chooses the wrong prey. The python and the king cobra are two of the world's largest and deadliest reptiles. The king cobra, being the longest venomous snake, can easily bring down an elephant. Similarly, the python is known as the longest living snake species and can squeeze their prey, including humans, to death within minutes. Like most snakes, pythons don't chase after their prey. Instead, they are ambush hunters. They use both sight and smell to locate prey. Pythons also have an additional advantage. Most have a special temperature sensitive pits or holes along their jaws that can sense the heat of a nearby animal. It kills its prey by suffocation or cardiac arrest within minutes. Once a python is near its desired prey, he rapidly uses his teeth to seize the animal. He then proceeds to coil his body around the animal, preventing breathing from continuing and therefore triggering suffocation. This constriction promptly kills the animal, and when the animal breathes its last breath, the python's grip gets more and more severe. The squeezing action doesn't shatter the bones, it just stops the creature breathing. Once the python no longer notices the animal's heartbeat, it finally relaxes its intense grasp, because it's time to eat. The differences between pythons and king cobras Regarding the differences, pythons are non-venomous constrictors, while the king cobra is known for its lethal poison. Also, pythons are often bigger, longer, and much more camouflaged, while king cobras are much more agile. The python and the king cobra actually live in very similar regions and habitats. The pythons kill their prey using constriction, while the king cobra kills their prey using venom. Let's look closely as the python attacks the king cobra, which is much larger than it. Usually, when these two predators go head to head, the python will quickly use force to squeeze the head of the king cobra before being bitten and killed by the venom. This means that the python's win rate is much higher. It is difficult to counter-attack when the king cobra's strongest weapon is control. However, even a small mistake can cause the python to lose its life at any moment. When it comes to hunting for food, snakes run the gamut as far as technique goes. Some snakes seize their prey by injecting them with venom bites. Other types, like pythons, opt for a different, decidedly more squeezy approach, which is known as constriction. Pythons are non-venomous reptiles. Therefore, the python risked its life to attack a cobra because of its hunger. 
the fierce confrontation between a king cobra and the python happens. The incident was on a road near Tanyang Technological University in Singapore. Although he tried his best to squeeze the king cobra, the python eventually died because it had too much venom injected into it by the king cobra. Even if this python managed to kill the dangerous prey, its outcome is not very feasible. The cobra's venom will also kill it. In front of an opponent of the same size but possessing the second most powerful venom in the world, the game of chess has now quickly been turned upside down. The python has become a filling meal for the cobra. Thanks to the strong venom, the snake is easily able to defeat the python. But the python coils around the cobra's head and refuses to let go. Usually for such fights, the python will nearly strangle the cobra until the venom kicks in. The python will be paralyzed and get eaten from a winning position. Sometimes luck occurs and the cobra will not be able to open its mouth wide enough to bite it. In this situation, the python was lucky to be able to wrap up the head of the cobra which means it is likely to win. But unfortunately, one mistake has cost it dearly. King Cobras are famous for being venomous snakes that are skilled at hunting like a professional killer. According to information from the cameraman, not long after the python was completely dead. And then the King Cobra turned around and started eating its enemy. King Cobras usually eat other snakes and at this time the python has turned itself into a Cobra's lunch. Thank you for watching till the end of the video. Was your experience here good? It would be fantastic for us to meet you here every day. Swag Wild Animal Life will continue to update every day the best interesting stories, dramatic battles in the wild animals world. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to see our newest videos. Goodbye.